So is tube your own horn worth it? In today's video, I talk about my experience with tube your own horn and whether you should do it or not. This will be the only video that you need to watch on tube your own horn to make a decision today. Watch this video. Chances are you've probably been targeted for Dan Locke's uh, tube your own horn or you found out through high ticket closer of course. If you don't know what tube your own horn is, it's Dan Locke's six week uh, program teaching you how to be successful on YouTube. And at first I wasn't probably going to be an affiliate. Um, oh, I was considering it. I wanted to go through the whole course to make sure that it was actually a really good course. But, um, you know, I went through it and as I decided to sign up, I'm really here to be almost like a consultant and really help you decide. Is it worth the $2,000 that you invest into this course? So I'm going to be talking about a few things. I'm going to be talking about who it's for, who it's not for, what it actually is, how it's run, why I chose to do this, my results, and some of the pros and cons about the program. So if you're curious about some of these things, uh, make sure to watch this whole video in its entirety. It is kind of long. And plus, I'll have a few videos, a whole playlist on whether Tube Your Own Horn is worth it for you. Hey, and if this video helped you, I would love it for you to support my channel using my affiliate link. And if you're still on the fence, make sure to watch this video in its entirety. And I have a special gift for you at the end. If you're kind of curious about why I actually signed up for this program, I was doing YouTube for about five years. I lived with some YouTubers. Really cool story, by the way. We were a house of all just YouTubers and entrepreneurs, right? I wasn't having the success that I wanted. I saw a lot of my friends, some of my friends like Engineer Truth and like my friend uh, Zach King and all these other people. I even saw JK News like freaking the exponential curve. But that exponential curve never happened to me. What, what am I not doing? So I really wanted to uncrack the code of why I wasn't being successful because here's the truth. I watched a lot of YouTube videos. I knew a lot of the YouTube tactics about how to start a successful YouTube ch channel. I knew there was something either with either my tactics or my mindset that was really holding me back. One of the main reasons, and I think like if you're, if you're like me, if you want to model after, after a successful and profitable YouTube influencer slash business, um, then you should, you should probably look into this because he does go behind the scenes and breaks down every little step. That's true. Whether you like him or not at the end of the day, we're trying to start a business. You don't have to like someone fully to learn from them. So I think that was the reason why. And plus I got so much value from his high ticket closer program that, um, I wanted to learn kind of like his take on it. And I knew that deep down inside, if there was one thing I could learn, it was well worth the $2,000 because uh, if you look at the long-term value of things, I could definitely get my ROI um, because I'm in, I'm in this for the long-term, like I'm in YouTube for the long-term. It's not a short-term play for me. So let's, let's just cover the basis of what is this program? It's basically Dan Locke's six week program about how to become a successful YouTuber. He teaches you kind of like the business behind YouTube. And he really goes behind the scenes of how he got to a million subscribers on YouTube. There's six weeks currently at the time of this recording, they're all live, but I wouldn't be surprised if he started automating a lot of these lectures like he's doing for HTC. So week one, he calls it master your mind. So that's a mindset type of thing. Week two is magnify your brand, which he talks about more of the dominating niche markets, maximize your impact or your messaging to your niche market, magnetize your subscribers, the so ways to attract subscribers to come to you, measure your growth. So he goes over the analytics and monetize your influence, how to get the offers. What I like about this course is that it's actually, you know, it is a YouTube course, but it really essentially is a marketing course, right? He teaches you how to dominate a niche market, uh, how to position yourself and how to find the best offers for, for your, for your channel, because everybody's a little different. Everybody has different specialties and everybody's going to have a little bit different niche, right? And how he teaches it, like I said, is a live course, very similar to kind of like HTC style or high ticket closer him and his, uh, his directors and some of the people who manage his social media jump on this call too and really break down the behind the scenes. So that's something I really like. So you're probably wondering who is this course for? This course is really targeted 
to new YouTubers who want to learn the business model of YouTube. And let's say if you're more experienced like, like me, if you want to know the best practices of like a really successful channel allows you to kind of model after someone who's already successful. What kind of things do they look at? What are they doing? Right. And this, these are like the things he teaches you are beyond just like creator Academy um, or the typical YouTube videos that you see. And I'll be honest, there was some stuff I learned completely new, but I would say for me, since I've been doing YouTube for about maybe four or five years and I've had some success with some videos, and also I do have a bit of a marketing background. I didn't have as many profound moments as I did in High Ticket Closer. But what I realized too through this course is that one thing I really do like is that it brought me awareness about what I should be doing more of and what should I, what should I be doing less of and really dissecting it. And so it helped me gain a lot more clarity about that. Also, this, this course might be really good for someone who has currently taken HTC and who's really into kind of like the YouTube space slash marketing as well. So let me tell you who it is not for. And I think this is really, really important because I think people go into this course with the wrong expectations. First of all, I don't think this is a really great course for you if you want to become a YouTube star overnight. This is more of a long-term strategy. There's no magic pill for becoming viral, right? You really have to get great at kind of doing videos and he just helps shortcut. He teaches you the skills that will help. Sh if you apply, it will help shortcut your journey of being a YouTube, like being successful on YouTube. And to be honest, success means different things for, for everyone. This course is also not for you. If you don't have any trust in YouTube's longevity, which I don't know why the fuck you would believe that because if anything, it's going to be doubling within the next uh, few years. Right. And if you don't do YouTube now, then you are going to be completely left behind in the dust. And here's another thing. If you don't trust in Dan Locke, uh, as a brand of being your mentor, I'm not, not saying that you have to like him, right? Because he does have a lot of videos that are kind of like, oh, it's kind of like really Dan Locke. You shot this really corny ass video. Hey, Jarvis, can you believe that they missed the master class? What, do, what, what does he say? He does not co comprehend my logics, sir. Watch my master class right here. <laughs> But if you don't have trust in the brand, how could you take something seriously? There's a good chance that you probably won't make it through the program because it is a lot of work. And I'll get into the details of the actual like work required to kind of make this program work for you. At this point, you're probably curious, hey, Kevin, what are some of your results? One of the major things that was holding me back was that I was really kind of scared to promote my channel, tell people to subscribe, like comment and hit the bell so that they stay updated to my videos. By the way, you should do that right now. Shameless plug. Uh. But I realized that I was really kind of scared to kind of monetize because I didn't want to be viewed as a seller. That kind of scared me because I didn't want my fans just like be like, oh, Kevin, you're just trying to sell me shit. But I realized like if you focus on products and solutions, then it's a win win for everyone. And one of my friends that does it really well is actually Matt Tran. Probably around week four or five, I actually closed my first brand deal and it was the easiest money I've ever made because it was a product that I really believed in. It was the quickest, like 200 bucks I ever made in my life. And it was a win-win on both ends, right? So I closed my first brand deal. And if you've been an OG follower of me, you can tell that I've always been kind of struggling with personal brand. Like I was struggling with like, who can I really help that's authentic to me? And I feel like as much as this course is about YouTube, I really think it's about marketing. And he really helped me kind of define my personal brand, who I can help that's authentic to me. And for me, it's really about helping pharmacists or people who hate their job find ways to get out. I really resonated with that. And thanks to this program, some of the exercises really helped me kind of, um, kind of like paint that picture, right? Also, since I've taken this course, I've had consistent growth on my uh, YouTube channel, including increased revenue every single month, which is really, really cool. I can actually read the analytics and see that my watch time is going up and all that. And if you follow my Instagram, I usually post my YouTube analytics almost every single day. Yeah, there's growth over time. So at this point, you're probably wondering what are the pros and cons of this course? And I'll give you three pros and three cons. One of the things that I really liked about this course is that 
um, it really showed me what I can really be doing more with my YouTube channel. For example, right? Doing more series based type of things like your note. If you check my playlist, I'm actually trying to create really, really cool series for you guys and really trying to listen to you guys more and see whether a video he really taught me step by step how to see if my video was really resonating with my audience right it was really really great and like any sort of business you kind of need best practices and when dan shared his best practices for his youtube channel i started modeling after that um learning how to do more compelling titles and uh really kind of developing a system rather than just a one-off type of method, right? The second pro that I think is really good if you're starting off is that he really helps you develop your personal brand and he gives you exercises to really kind of see what you're really kick ass at, your superhero power and the people that you can't help. And with the kind of vibe that you have with people, right? He helps me identify that at least. And the third thing I really liked about this course he gave so many different business models about how you can monetize your channel and how to just take instead of just relying your YouTube channel as just a hobby. He teaches you how to make it a full blown business while being yourself. And I think that's really important. Now, what are some of the cons? And believe me, there are some cons with this program and that you should really know. First thing, it's a lot of freaking material, like a lot of material. Uh, if you actually do all the assignments, it can take up to two to three hours a day. Why? Because you're constantly watching what other YouTubers do and you're modeling after it, right? So if you're not willing to put in the work, I mean, it's a given, right? Uh, just watching a course isn't going to give you results. It's kind of like riding a bike. If you, you could read all the books, watch all the videos on people riding a bike, but if you don't actually do it, then you'll never learn. Same thing goes with YouTube, right? So it takes a lot of work and a lot of commitment for this course. Second thing that's kind of the con I, I would say is that it's targeted toward new YouTubers, right? Um, some of the milestones are set for brand new YouTubers. For me, like I said, I'm a more seasoned YouTuber. I already have my channel. I already have a good sense of my demographic. And it's not to say that I didn't get value out of it, but it, it was just targeted toward uh, absolute beginners right and the third thing that i think you should be aware of and that is kind of a negative for this course is that i actually think it takes a lot longer than six weeks if you're coming in with the expectation that um you're gonna be youtube star within six weeks after this program like reset your expectations this is more of a long-term strategy it's true like like in life right sometimes people just get famous overnight like that other people don't, but at least if you have a systematic strategy going to it, you have a higher chance of getting discovered a lot sooner. Finally, I just want to emphasize this is not a magic pill to solve your uh, problems overnight. He, he basically essentially gives you a long term marketing strategy of how to create a YouTube channel. So if you want to model after someone who has been successful on YouTube, uh, Dan Locke is like literally growing like freaking crazy on YouTube at this moment and someone to translate the, the language of YouTube. This is for you. I like to use the analogy of languages because this is like going to something foreign. And when you have a translator, you can learn so much faster. Sure. Can you do it by yourself? Yes, but it's going to take a lot longer. And I would view this as more of a shortcut to get the, your results faster. So is it really worth the 2K? In my opinion, when I look at the long-term strategy, if he's willing to teach you how to set up deals with different offers, set up brand deals, and kind of get the most bang out of your buck for AdSense, that will, it's not a question of if it's worth it, it's just when, right? The real question to yourself is, if Dan teaches me this, how soon can I implement all these steps? So if you made, made it this far in my video and this video actually helped you make up your decision for to your own horn, I would love it if you would click my affiliate link and support my channel. I appreciate it. And, but if you're still on the fence, whether this is for you or not, uh, feel free to book a call with me or my team. This is really not a sales call. It's more of a consultation call to see, you know, how is this course going to work for you, work out for you? How exactly is this going to help solve your problems? Then this call is for you. So if you're interested in setting up a call, I'll set up a link right here with the cards.
finally if you're still curious about tube your own horn uh i'm creating a whole playlist for you guys and I'm going to be updating it as my youtube journey goes on and finally i would love to shoot the question back to you what are your biggest concerns or what are your biggest questions about tube your own horn and what i can do is shoot more videos and add them to that playlist anyways we'll talk soon take care peace anything else i'm missing the what uh, might as well just do it right now hey if you're on the fence about this and you need some help deciding and see if it's actually worth it for you feel free to book a call with me or my team i'll leave a secret link below and you can find out more about it all right i think that's it right hey what's the most cringiest uh hey what's the most cringiest uh dan lock video you ever seen I think I think it's uh why you fucking Paul that one's my f fucking fit why you fucking Paul.